Hey everybody! I decided to film in a different room. Oh, change of scenery. We're in my kitchen. We're not in my normal filming room. I'm sorry, it's gonna be dark in here. I'm having a bleh night. Um, I just switched over my winter clothes, my summer clothes to my winter clothes. Um, in my closet. This box is giving me a massive migraine. Sorry, it smells. It's even pissing my cats off. So we're literally gonna go through this quick. Um, and then I will do my other one that's on the floor. Okay, <laughs> let's get into this. I am Twiggy, welcome to my channel. I do Bath and Body Works hauls, collection videos, project use it ups, you name it, I do it. Um, yeah, not very happy with Bath and Body Works. Um, as this is an actual Bath and Body Works order, not in the box. Um, I got a notice, I think I said this in my last video, that there was like a shipping delay because of my barcode being unreadable. I found out why, and that's why my head hurts. <coughs> One of my wallflower refills literally leaked over my entire, like the whole thing. When you, you see this, you'll see. Le leaked over my whole entire order. And everything else was like, I don't know if they ran the box over or what, but if you see this stuff, you're going to be like, oh my god. Um, I'm going to probably, because they, they're resending my order. They're overnighting it or not overnighting it, two days shipping it to me. So it should be here by Saturday. Um, but I will tell you right now, I'm thinking about exchanging, because this is literally, this is the packaging. This is what came. This is how it came. You're telling me that it didn't get dropped and ran over. Um, this is was the tree farm wallflower, I think. It is extremely strong, and it's really annoying my cats because pine scent is actually toxic to cats. Um, so they are not happy that I have it even in the house. So this one is really piney. I probably will put it downstairs in my breezeway. Not this one, obviously, because this is all that's left in it. But I will put it in my breezeway downstairs um, so that that house smells like pine tree because I think this year I am not getting a Christmas wreath. I always go... There's a um, floral stand thing and like flower um, greenhouse thing down my street from where I live. And I always get a Christmas tree from there this year. I don't know if I'm going to do it because I do have two doors on my out downstairs door now. And I liked it because the outside door I could always hang the wreath on and it would stay green. Now I have two doors and it would be like inside the house. And that's like pine needles, that, that thing I would have to mist and stuff. So I don't know. I keep going back and forth. I kind of want one because it's the closest thing to a real Christmas tree I get. Because the only thing I set up is this really tiny Christmas tree. And I really miss my really big Christmas tree. Um, perfectly honest with you, I don't know what happened to it. I moved and I don't know where it went. I had like Christmas ornaments and everything else. I don't know where it went. Um, I'm pretty sure I thought I moved it to my parents' house, but I don't know what happened to it. So, and I had a lot, of, like, a lot of glass ornaments and stuff. But, I have iced cranberry scone. Um, this one is fresh cranberry, crumbly brown sugar, sweet vanilla. I do like this scent in candle form. Um, my hands smell like pine tree. Don't mind me. I'm kind of trying not to gag because this is really strong. Um, I got the Body and Moisture uh, Wash in um, Sugared Snickerdoodle. And it, it's the Joy one. Let me smell this. I don't even know if I can smell anything right now because everything smells like freaking pine needles. Ooh, that smells good. Well, I have to rinse everything off because I'm not even joking. Like, this stuff is all covered in this pine scent. And it, it is so strong, it's knocking my socks off. Then I did get the Iced Raspberry Benini in Shower Gel. I'm kind of going to hope I like these shower gels because to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not a big fan of these Christmas scents this year. Um, I got Hope, which is Winter Peach Marshmallow. To me, it's not super sweet, at least not on my skin type or my, my body chemistry. So I don't know. I'm debating whether I want to return some of these anyways because I don't really like them and exchange them for something I might like. But there's really nothing I like, so who knows? I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. And then I got the Cotton Candy Champagne, which is the Joy. And then I got the Peace, which is the Iced Raspberry Benini. Um, and, and then I got another Joy, 
which is sugared snickerdoodle. This one I do love. Um, let me spray some on me because... This one I like. It's not worth me having like 15 of. I'm I'm being really good. You guys would be very proud because you guys know how much I buy like up an excessive amount of stuff. Um, and then I got this in the champ or the shower gel, which is the love, which is cotton candy champagne. The only thing I'm having a problem with the cotton candy champagne, the effervescence from the champagne smell. Kind of gives me a cat pee smell, almost like a really ammoniated cat piss smell. Not liking that too much. Um, the dry down's a little bit better, but I just seem to have like a really heightened sense of smell and I can still tell and it's really driving me nuts. So I'm hoping that the shower gel's not like that and it's not super strong. Then I got the Hope, which is <coughs> winter peach marshmallow, which is really weird to have peach at winter. Um, so... And then that was my damaged order. This is the replacements for some other damaged stuff. I just got two more of the Christmas Merry Mimosas. Because my other two, I didn't realize, they were missing their little stem. So they were nice enough to send me two of these. And then the top to my other one of these was broken. Um, like broken beyond usable ability. So I got another one of these Winterberry Ice. I like the packaging. It's super cute, super simple. I will use it probably year-round because I really like this scent. And these, I gotta get some more of, but um, for right now, I'm just waiting for a soap sale and then I'll stock up on them. I think I have six or six or eight of them now, or some outrageous amount. Um, I want at least 12 or 13, or 12 or 14 of them because then it'll last me all year because I will probably be using that throughout the summer even because it's such a sweet berry punch smell that I don't actually mind it. Um, oh, here, this is the tag of what the wallflower was that broke. The tag of the, it was under the Christmas tree. I like it in the candle, but it is super strong in the wallflower. It's, um, fresh, fir balsam, juniper berries, and vanilla eggnog. I don't get any vanilla. I literally just get straight up freaking pine tree. So if you like a straight up pine tree smell, get that one. It is super strong. Like if you have a fake tree, put that one in your wallflower thing. Dude, it's going to smell like a pine tree exploded in your house. Um, so yeah, that's my entire haul. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, today was my day off. Like I said, I switched over my closet, um, which took me two days to do. I started it last night when I got home from work made it till about 10 o'clock, said, screw this, I'm going senile, staring at all this stuff. Um, and then I went to bed, woke up at like 5 this morning. I know, I woke up super early on my day off, and I don't have a day off again until for like four more days, so that kind of sucks. I had to take a nap about 3.30 because I mentally was spent. That gave me enough energy to finish my closet. Finish that, now just kind of matching socks and picking up the last of the random stray laundry, and then I am done with laundry. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I love you all. I'm going to figure out if I'm going to place another order. I might place just another soap order, but unfortunately, um, my hauls may subside at least until... Um, I probably will buy some more candles. I'm not even going to lie with you. If they have another candle sale before candle day, I probably will buy some because I try to get candles on candle day and it's always ridiculous to try to get any and everything I ever order gets canceled. So it just gets too frustrating. But I may place another candle order because I got that blueberry biscotti and oh my God, it's so good. And I am only getting that when it's on sale because that is a freaking expensive candle. It's $27.50 and it's smaller than the normal three wicks. So I don't want to... um pay full price for that. I'm not paying any full price for candles anymore because one, that's expensive. And two, your girl don't have a lot of money be buying stuff full price. I buy all the stuff when it's on sale. And, um, or if I do pay full price, it's not for candles. I'll get my gift cards that I can redeem through my work and I, um, buy a big haul, but I'm trying to save my points till after Christmas for semi-annual sale to get some stuff then. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I love you all. See you soon. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. I am freezing because it's like 20 degrees outside. They're talking about the, you know, white stuff that falls from the sky coming soon, 
we've already had some hit up where um, I went on vacation this year. I went up to Door County. It's already snowed there. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm not ready for that. I actually still have to get my tires rotated. So yeah, but I'll stop rambling. That's about all that's going on with me. I hope you guys are all doing well. Love you all and see you soon. Bye.